Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create yet another beautiful poster. So to start, we're going to change the background and give it a little bit of texture. So I'm going to go up to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down, and select the square. And then I'm going to click and drag over my entire document. Now this is going to change the background color. So once I've done that, I'm just going to go up to this black icon here and select black. Alternatively, you can go to shape fill and select black from the shape fill here. Now I need some texture. So in order to get that texture, I'm just going to download a free image from a free website. And I'm just going to enter pixabay.com. Now Pixabay have lots of free images on it. So I'm just going to search for texture and press enter. You can select from any of these different textures depending on the look that you want for your poster, but I'm going to select this one here. And then I'm going to go over to free download and select download. And then once your file has been downloaded, let's go back into Word, go up to insert, let's go to picture, picture from file and then in my downloads file I've got my imported picture and just click insert. Now at the moment you can see that that picture is behind this black shape we inserted earlier. So without clicking off that image we're going to go up to wrap text and then in front of text and then your texture will appear. Now I want these lines, these vertical lines or shading to go horizontally. So I'm just going to turn this around. Then I'm just going to stretch it out until it fits my page. Now you might be wondering, well, why did you put the black background on to begin with? Well, that's because I'm going to change the transparency of this texture. Now this texture is already selected, you can just see here you've got these selection markers around the outside. I'm going to ensure that I'm on shape format and I'm going to go along to this transparency icon here. Click on the drop down and then I can select from a number of different transparency options as to how transparent this background will be. So if I click on this 50% you can see that more of the black comes through and the texture disappears. And that just allows us to have a little bit of texture and not be overwhelmed. And if you wanted a different color background, say for example, let's change this background to, I don't know, bright pink. You can see how that will affect the texture. So this is how you can fully customize your poster. Okay. Now we're going to put some graphics on, so I'm going to go up to Insert, Shapes, and I'm going to scroll down and select this shape here. Then all I'm going to do is to click and drag. It doesn't really matter about the size or shape at the moment, just click and drag. And I'm going to turn this shape round by using this circular arrow tool. And when your shape's inserted, you'll see that it has a very thin border and a shape fill. So this one's blue and the border's blue as well. What we need to do is to get rid of this fill shape in the middle and increase the size of this border to create the graphics we want. So in order to do that, if you select the shape, make sure you're on shape format and go over to this format pane icon here and click. Once you're there, go to the bucket icon and you've got the fill menu and the line menu. Fill is the color in the middle and line is your border. So let's just extend these menus. And so because I don't want a color, I'm going to select no fill. And then I'm going to select solid fill for the line. And then I'm going to select a bright color. And then importantly, I'm going to go down to width here and I'm going to select 15 and then press enter. And here you can see the graphic that we have made. Now because once you've made these graphics you can just copy and paste them, it's a good idea to ensure that you've customized them completely before then copying and pasting them because otherwise then you've got to go 
through all the graphics and change them. So I want a little shadow on this graphic so that when I then put them on top of each other, there's just a little bit of shadow on top of each graphic and I'll show you that as we go along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this icon here and down to shadow, click on the drop down and then we've got this preset here. So if you click on that, let's just move this in and show you. You can see we've got a number of shadow presets. You don't have to use the one I'm using. You can use any of them. You can use the inner shadow or you can use the outer shadow. It's completely up to you. But I suggest that once you've picked it, then you stay with that particular shadow because then that dictates the way the sort of light is shining in your shadow will fall. So I'm going to select this offset to the left one here. And you can't really see much at the moment, but as we copy and paste them, you'll be able to see the different effects. So once I'm happy with my shape, again, I can move this around. If you hit the shift key and one of the squares, you can maneuver the width of it and the height of it. And so you can completely change the shape. So once I'm happy, I'm going to copy and paste it. And for me, the easiest way to do this is to hit the Alt or Option key, wait till your cursor changes, and then click and drag. And now you can just see that little shadow that I spoke about earlier and the effect that it has as you copy and paste these different shapes. I'm just going to hit my Shift key. So I've selected both of these, so I need to click away and then just select this shape. I'm going to hit my shift key, grab this square and just move it so that you change this shape. Now I'm going to change the colour of this. So I'm going to go back over and hit my bucket icon, go down to the solid line colour and then you can see the options available. If you don't like any of these colours, go to more colours and then you've got your colour wheel to choose from and you can move this cursor anywhere around to select your colour and then you can also customise that further by using this darken and lighten slider here. Alternatively you can colour match so if you've put a colour swatch into your document you can use the eyedropper tool here you can go around and select any colour of your choice. So for my particular design I'm going to use another purple and then I'm going to click and drag again with my alt key I'm going to click away because as you can see it selected both of these, click away and then click back on, back up to the bucket and I'm going to select a yellow and then again click and drag, let's move that over there. I'm not going to customise these all just yet, I'm just going to copy and paste a few and then I can come back and customise the colours. So click away, I'm going to change the colour of this one. So go back over to my bucket icon, click another purple, and then over here, change this colour. In fact, let's change this to a slightly different colour. Let's go to this one. And then of course, you can just keep changing the shape and customising it. So now I've shown you the technique, all I'm going to do is just speed up the video. Okay, so once I'm happy with my design, then I'm going to go ahead and insert some text at the bottom. So go up to Insert, Text Box, Draw Text Box, and then just click and drag. Then I'm going to insert my text. Then to increase the size of my text, I'm just going to select it by clicking and dragging. Go to the Home tab. And then I'm going to increase the size using Increase Font Size icon. And then I'm going to change the colour of my font because I'm going to get rid of the white background. So go to Font Colour and then I'm going to click White. Obviously it's disappeared. So now make sure you, you've selected your text box. Go to Shape Format. Go to Shape Fill. Click on the drop down and select No Fill. Then go up to Shape Outline and select No Outline. 
I'm also going to change the font of this word here, studio. So just select that word. I'm going to go up to the home tab, click on the drop down, and I'm going to select Brasilia. There we go. I'm going to insert some more text down here, but because I've already formatted this text box, no background, no outline, I don't really want to do it all again, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. So again, I'm going to hold down my Alt key and make sure my cursor's change, and then just click and drag. And then I've got another text box. So all I need to do here is to double click, Command or Control A to highlight all of your text, then just press the Delete key then you'll delete that text. Then I'm just going to insert some text. I'm just going to copy some from another document. Now this is just example text, it doesn't make any sense. So what I've done there, I have used the same font as Studio, the Brasilia font, and then I've converted back to this original font here, which is Geneva, and pop that into bold at the bottom, just as an example. Great thing about these text boxes is you can move them anywhere and you can also change the size of them and the height of them and they are incredibly flexible and I absolutely love text boxes. So just place all the text where you want it. I think I'm just going to move that down a little bit. And then just for a little bit of extra decoration I put a nice line across the middle here. So insert, shape, and then I'm going to go to line and then just simply click. I'm going to hold down my shift key to give me a perfectly horizontal line. You can just about see that line there. So before we click away from it, because sometimes it's really difficult to click back onto a line, make sure you go to shape format, go across to your bucket icon. On the solid line, I'm going to change it to white. And then the width, I'm just going to increase with this up arrow here and then I think 1.75 is perfect. Now to just make sure this line is in the center if you click on it go up to a line and select a line to center and then you can just zoom in and you can just check that your text is lined up with that line at the end there, that bit there. Perfect. Okay, so there's your final poster. You can be as creative as you like. Don't forget you can change all of the colors and the shadows and the sizes and also the text and where it lies on your page. And don't forget Pixabay have lots and lots of really lovely resources to use on your poster as well. So don't be afraid to go and have a look throughout that website. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.